right, here we go. <laughs> and three, two, one. So guys, we're out at the dog park, pickleball to beh behind us. Listen, we've been talking to you all about the fact that we're moving abroad. The question is, why now? And we're going to get into the top five reasons as to why, why Panama. Panama. Hmm. Well, it's good to be back, guys. Listen, Cherie, we have been talking and thinking about moving abroad for a minute, and probably a few years ago, we kind of started drilling down on specifics. Right. Why Panama? So I started doing some research about three years ago and started looking at different countries um, to potentially relocate to. Um, I've always had a desire to want to leave the U.S. at some point in time, and so as I was doing my research, there were a couple places that came to mind. But Panama stood out, number one, because of the distance. Um, one of our biggest concerns was that we didn't want to be so far away from the United States that if we had to get back to family, that it would be a 12, 18 hour flight. Um, Panama, I think um, the flights are really short and we can get back and forth really quickly. Yeah, a ton of places that fly direct. One, Dulles International Airport here in Virginia, um, up closer to Northern Virginia, but uh, it's a five hour direct flight from Dulles. Um, it's a three-hour direct flight from Atlanta, uh, Hartsville International, and then a two-hour direct flight from Miami. And so with us having grandchildren, um, you know, her obviously aging her aging parents, um, my parents are in Maryland. The thought was, if we're going to live abroad, let's not move so far away that it becomes this chore uh, to, to come abroad. We were just talking to somebody who is um, a waitress at a local restaurant here mm -hmm. in Virginia Beach. She's from Australia. Right. And when like, we asked her how far <laughs> was it to fly to Australia? Ooh, it's like a 27 hours. 27 hours. hours. I'm she like, hasn't been home in two, in two years. And to that point, she has her husband's in the Navy, and she has not been home in two years. We didn't want that. So we right. said, if we're going to live abroad, and, and the other part of it is, <laughs> honestly, we want to encourage people to come visit us. Right, right. right? <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see you. We're going to pull up and uh, give you guys uh, two, three, four, and five. Y'all stick around, and uh, we'll be back after this. Listen, do me a favor. Subscribe now. Even with the dogs barking in the background, they're saying subscribe now. Click the link. Click the uh, link. Subscribe to the channel. Share it out. And uh, if you ever thought about moving abroad, if you ever thought about moving to Panama, we're going to give you a couple of other reasons why we chose to do that when we come back. What's going on, everybody? Listen, we are back talking about the fact that we are moving abroad. To Panama. Why now and why? Panama. Yeah, she she loves saying that word. Well, y'all stick around. We'll be back right now. Three, ahead. two, one. So, guys, listen, um, there are five reasons why we chose Panama. Actually, there's a ton more than that. But in order to boil it down for a lot of our friends and family who've been asking, we thought we'd put this video series together. Um, Cherie, let's talk about the second reason why, and again, it's no, not in any particular order, but the second reason. So the second reason why is that we looked at how easy was it to get a visa in another country. Um, we, as United States citizens, don't plan on giving up our citizenship here. Right. But we did want to look at what the visa options were in different countries, and Panama had several different visa options, and one in particular 
um, we happen to qualify for because of our age. Yep. And also because we of owe. my VA benefits. Um, we qualify because I have a, a permanent income. And so that's the Pensionata visa. Yeah. And it's considered their retirement visa. So with that um, Pensionata visa, there are a lot of advantages mm. to that. Number one, it's the easiest visa to get mm -hmm. um, because you just have to show proof of your permanent income, whether it's a pension, retirement, whatever it is, or veterans benefits. That's a permanent um, benefit that your form of compensation that you're receiving. And the age requirement and the cost is fairly low, right. um, whereas a lot of other countries, it can cost you thousands, oh, yeah. thousands of dollars to get a visa, whereas it's very inexpensive for Panama. It's about $1,200. Um, they have other forms of visas that they have available as well. But then also the income requirement. P Panama actually has an income requirement for you to get this visa. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. If you're getting Social Security, for example, yes. Um, and it is an upwards of $1,000 a month in perpetuity, mm -hmm. that qualifies you for this particular visa. Yes. And the thing that really I love about the Pensionata visa is the fact that it gives you discounts. Yes. I mean, significant stuff on stuff like real estate. Right. So once you get your Pensionata visa, you qualify for discounts on everything, on flights from, you know, once you're, you have your visa, if you purchase your flights there in Panama um, through Copa Airline, any airline through from Panama, you get discounts on your flights, you get discounts on food, you get discounts on your utility bills, and usually there, um, as far as utilities, the only thing you're paying is like your electric and maybe your cable, but you get discounts on that. They also have other visa options, um, such as, you know, if you do want to come and purchase a property um, for $300,000, you would come in, you'd have to deposit that amount of money in a bank. So they have other options as well. But the Pensionata was the easiest visa to get, and because we qualified because of age, because of our income, that made it easy for us to start that process. And so when we actually go at the end of June, we will be starting that process. I mean, it takes about four to six months to be get your permanent visa, and we'll have our visas. Um, we will continue to have dual citizenship here yep. in the United States. Exactly. Um, so we're not giving up our citizenship, but we will be citizen. We'll have our visa and residency in per in Panama, so that we'll be able to um, receive all those benefits that come with that. I want you guys to really, really um, understand that when we chose Panama, it was for reasons that worked for us. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of people, babe, when they're looking at going abroad, they're kind of comparing their situation or, or maybe you know looking at other people's situation and comparing it to theirs. And it isn't always apples to apples. So we definitely want to encourage you guys, if you're thinking about this, think about your situation and the reasons why you want to do it. And I don't know if y'all can hear it or see it in the back, but they're playing pickleball. <laughs> and that is Sheree and I's next frontier. We're going to try and figure out how to get super active bunch of pickleball in Panama. But um, y'all, if you have any questions, comments, maybe suggestions, maybe you live in Panama, maybe you know someone that does, leave the comments in the uh, in the chat um, or uh, you know comment below and let us know that. We're going to be dropping some links and some different ways where you guys can connect with us. But uh, we'll be back with number three in just a little bit uh, to help you guys understand again, why are we moving abroad? Why, why now? And more importantly, why Panama? Panama. Y'all be good. Hey, Sheree. Huh? She, what, you, the camera's here, man. Oh, hey. Hey, Listen, guys. Y'all, she is How so distracted. <laughs> if you haven't already tuned into our series, we've been talking about the fact that we are moving abroad. The question is, why now and why Panama? Panama? Y'all stick around. We'll be back with this <laughs> crazy one after this. Hey guys, we're back. So listen, we've been talking about on IG or moving? Facebook or YouTube, wherever they show up, see us showing up, about why. 
and it, it, it's irri <laughs> it's irritating like Why that. Going there? Why that? Like, why? where's Panama? Like, where is, is that, that? A, you talking about Panama there? City, Florida? Why? Like, why? So what we decided <laughs> we would do is we would kind of drill down on the reasons. And so now we're talking, what we at? Reason number three? Number three. Number three. three. So the third reason why Panama is because in doing my research, I realized that the cost of health care oh and the level of health care, the quality of health care, number one, let me talk about the quality of health care. In Panama City, they actually have a Johns Hopkins affiliate hospital. So for any of you that don't know, Johns Hopkins is a major... Shout out to Baltimore, <laughs> New Orleans Street, you know what I'm Baltimore. saying? The world-renowned Johns Hopkins yes. University Hospital. I'm so yes. sorry, I digress. <laughs> it's a major hospital system here in the United States up. on the East Coast. And they actually have an affiliate hospital actually in Panama City. Um, but outside of that hospital, the level of health care in Panama is on par to the United States, if not above in certain areas. Um, now, you can get anything you get done here, there. The difference Come on is now. the part. cost. Say it again. The cost. Say it one more time. The difference is the cost. I have to interject this one part. Cherie was doing some research, guys. I watched a video of a couple who had uh, some procedure done. I, I want to say um, a tumor removed, something mm -hmm. like life-threatening. They paid for it out of pocket, and the cost was so insignificant that they never used their insurance. Right. So I'm saying to myself, what? Right. What's the real quality? And so when we started researching, the quality is crazy, but the accessibility yes. is even crazier. Right. So when it comes to the cost of health care in Panama City, I'm going to give it to you this way. So pay, basically here in the United States, we pay a monthly premium for our insurance, and then you still have co-pays. Right. Most insurances nowadays don't cover 100%. So you're paying out 20 to 30% on top of your monthly premium. What if you took the premium away? Completely away. So the cost that you're paying is just basically your copay mm. for anything that you have to get done. And in most cases, it's not even that. So you can go to a, get a routine doctor's visit, go see your primary care doctor there for $20, $25. Um, and sometimes less than that, depending on where you are in the city, in the country. Um, they also do house calls. Say it again. The doctor will come to your house. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, hey, Mr. Brooks, I I'm Dr. Smith. Just wanted to follow up because it's time for us to check in on you because of the procedure you just had done last week. We want to take the stitches out. We want to run some tests. We want to do some lab work. We want to make work. sure you're okay. We just want to make sure you're to good. We check on you. Where did they do that at? Like, In Panama. Like, when's the last time <laughs> your primary care physician pulled up? Right. Pull up on me. Like, when? <laughs> And so speaking of primary care, so when you go to your primary care doctor in Panama, so basically we all know here in the United States, when you go to the doctor, you're herded through like cattle. Right. Basically. If in and get, out. If you get 15, 20 minutes with your doctor, you're, you're doing, doing good. good. So they have routinely, I've seen reviews, I've talked to people that are in the various communities that I'm in. I mean, you could be sitting with your doctor for an hour, hour and a half, and they just, y'all just chit-chatting. They talking about everything. They taking their time. There's no rush. They're not rushing you through. Mm -hmm. So you get a real quality care with your doctor because they get to know you. Right. Um, the cost, like I said, is phenomenal. Um, there are actually plans that you can get in the country where you're paying like fifty dollars a month for a, a bunch family, of, yeah, a bunch a of family health plan where you can go and get uh, routine checkups. Right. You can get um, if you need any lab work done. That's included in that. If you need any x-rays or anything that's all included at fifty dollars a month for two well i think no, it actually for was for a family, family of four. four now you can get in health insurance over there if you want there are clinics everywhere that you can that go part. to yeah it's really a game changer and before we get out of here i gotta shout out my guy mike kelly who hey, mike. you you guys will get introduced we sought mike out to be basically a private tour guide. He runs a company and a business where he takes expats who are thinking about moving to Panama City particularly through and he shows you property. And he, we, when we visited earlier this year, he, he became family. What yes. we found out and we didn't know 
Mike actually owns a healthcare organization. Think of a primary care facility like a, I don't know, Now Care or right. um, something, whatever the name of the. Uh, like an urgent care center. Urgent care center. So he owns one. We're going to put you guys on the mic, and there'll be some links in the description below as to how you can reach out to him if you are thinking about moving abroad. Y'all, we're going to come back for number four, and I hope you guys stick around. We're talking about the fact that we are moving abroad. We are moving now, and we're moving to Panama. If y'all want to hear more of why that is, stick around for the next episode, and we'll see y'all soon. At the end of the day, here's what we know to be true. You cannot get to any place of significance by Ooh. yourself. Why is that? Because we oh, all need, need some, some help. help. Y'all, come save me. This one right here <laughs> is getting on my nerves. So Sharia is looking around the dog park, y'all. We're still out here hanging out as the sun is going down here in Virginia Beach. Pickleball to the back. Back there. The dog park to the front. Over there. And all kinds of drones, people flying around. One of the reasons we're going to Panama is for more of the same. Y'all stick around. We'll be back. And we're going to tell you the next reason. I think it's number four. Why are we moving abroad? Why now? Particularly, why, why Panama? Panama? everybody listen we are back we're talking about the fact that we're moving abroad uh, we are moving uh, now <laughs> and we're moving to Panama and the number four reason as to why that is Cherie is what because mangoes grow on the street because what mangoes grow on the street and so does <laughs> bananas mm. uh, and by the way you can uh, you can eat fish fresh fish straight off the boat from the Pacific Ocean or the Caribbean Ocean huh say what Straight off the boat. No processed foods? So, Let's go. So the fourth reason why Panama is because of the access to fresh, unprocessed food and the opportunity to be more in nature. So when we talk about fresh, unprocessed food, food, um, we have access there to, I mean, there are fresh fruit markets everywhere. Because of the climate there, um, there's a plethora of fresh food and the quality of it, you can tell the difference of it because they don't use the same processing techniques that they use here in the United States when they're harvesting their food, when they're farming, when they're raising their animals, and so it tastes fresh. And so because of that, people have more improved health yeah. because you're not getting all the different toxins in your body. Um, and also because, you know, you have the access to be outside and enjoy the outdoors more often, um, there are different climates throughout the country. So if you, live on, about if you live on the beach, you know, it's going to be warmer. It could be like 90 to 100 degrees most of the time. You can live in the city or other areas where it's more like 80 to 90 degrees. Or you can go up in the mountains um, and it could be between 70 and 80 degrees. But you have the opportunity to be outside every day. Um, year round right. at some point in time. Now, they do have a rainy season. Yeah, and I want to speak about that, babe, because part of the reason we are, you know, we chose Panama was because, you know, like Cherie said, you got everything from beaches to rainforests. And uh, unlike here in the U.S., where we have four distinct seasons, um, they, they have two, rainy season <laughs> yeah. and dry season. Now, the temperature doesn't change. The temperature <laughs> doesn't change. So where I'm from, I know what it's like for it to rain at 35 degrees. That's not a good rain. They call rain. it freezing rain, and yeah, it ain't fun. That's not fun. I can take rain at, at 85 degrees. degrees. I, I can take that. And so I can deal with that every day. But the hiking and the different outdoor activities is really something, guys, we are looking for. As a matter of fact, we will not have a vehicle there uh, mm -hmm. for the foreseeable future. And part of that, quite frankly, is because we won't need to drive. Right. But we are going to invest in some electric bikes. Right. We are going to invest in some outdoor equipment and things like that that will allow us to get out and about and do all the things. So that's another main reason why we're moving. Um, because of the rainforest, because of the rain that they get there during 
the rainy season in year round the green there is just different yeah like it draws you out so it causes it beckons you to come outside it really does and so that in of itself um, draws you to want to be outside to be more active because of the climate there because of the 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 temperatures as well as just the vibrancy yeah i guess is the best way to put it yeah it's funny because you know when you go to panama one of the things you'll experience is that the colors often look filtered (laughs) <laughs> Y'all know how we take pictures and we will doctor that bad boy up in a heartbeat. Use some kind of filter to overlay that because we want to try and get the best possible color. When you walk outside in Panama, those colors are pop real. and right. they're real. Yeah. So the greens are green green. The blues are blue blue. And uh, it, it's a sight to behold. So the kind of climate that they have draws you and, and makes you want to be outside. So I, I can't wait till we get to number five, I believe. It is, and we're going to talk to you guys. There's so many reasons why we chose Panama. We just kind of boiled them down into some of the most important to us. But, y'all, this is an exploration mission. This is a fun opportunity for us to feel what it really uh, looks like and what what the experience would be like to live abroad. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you guys will come visit us, those who are friends and family of ours. And uh, we definitely going to be posting more stuff on our YouTube channel. Do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe, uh, like it, share it out, and uh, check out the links below because um, we're going to be linking you guys up to some things that will help you guys navigate this, particularly if you're interested in doing what we're doing. At the end of the day, here's what we know to be true. You cannot get to any place of significance by by your lonesome. (laughs) Now you switch it up on me. By yourself. By yourself. By yourself. Because we all, we all need, need some, some sleep. Help. I mean help. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be good. Bye, guys. What's going on, everybody? Listen, we are back wrapping up this series that we've been doing, babe, on the fact that we are moving abroad. Why are you dancing, babe? Because we're, we're on number five. We're on number five. Which we're, means we're closer to moving. <laughs> look, look, y'all. So we're moving abroad. Why now? Why Panama? <laughs> Come on, number five. Why are we moving to Panama? So number five actually is a serious reason. So the fifth reason why Panama is because the crime rate is significantly lower in Panama. Yeah. Um, yes, they have normal petty theft. They have little things like that. But unlike here in the United States, where daily you're hearing about mass shoot- shootings, daily you're hearing about people being murdered by guns. That is not the case in Panama. Right. Now, do they have guns? Yes, sure. but they are not as prevalent in the streets with the public as they are here in the United States. Their gun laws are very different. The average citizen does not have guns. And so, therefore, there is a reduction in crime because of that. So the other thing I want to jump in as a result of that, the policing looks very, very different. Yes. So when we went to visit back during our 24th wedding anniversary, we stayed in Costco Viejo. And Costco Viejo, if you know anything about it, is Old Town Panama. And it is um, the place where not only tourists come, but people who live in Panama go to have a good time. It's a party place. It's a place where... It's like, you know, New York, it never sleeps in that regard. Complete, I mean, culture out the wazoo. It's just rich in all of these different things. A place that generally speaking, when it comes to crime, you would think it would be like a target, not. No, feel the, 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 you didn't, tension, tension, you didn't feel, I wasn't scared at all. Right, at all. Um, I had no anxiety whatsoever when we were in Panama. Um, And particularly in Costco Viejo, because the president of Panama City, his house is there. So and there would so, be a, a, so reason a reason for there to be If you think about like the up, White House, so there's yeah. like his security detail is there. You see a lot more police in that area because of that. Right. But even as we toured different parts of the country, I mean, from San Francisco to... Uh, uh, even we went down to Coronado, the, really the only place that you saw police was like, they do, they do traffic um, stops. 
But what they're stopping you for, they're checking to make sure that you have a driver's license. Yeah, and that kind of That's stuff. That's what they're so looking for. It's just real low key, it's real chill, and you don't feel threatened. And I think that that's probably one of the biggest reasons. I, I remember we went to the mall, and uh, you know how like in the US, you go to a mall, there's a security guard everywhere. Right. Um, not. Mm -mm. Um, you just don't feel the presence of this over-policed state. Mm -hmm. And I think it translates to a relaxed environment. And so right. uh, for us, you know, just like anywhere else in the country the, or around the world, there's crime. Uh, so, you, so I'm not painting that picture, right. but it's not this heinous acts of violence, random craziness that goes down that has everybody on edge. It just doesn't exist. Right. It's not a violent culture. Right. And so you don't sense a there's a it. sense of violence right. around. So you still have to use common sense just like anywhere else. You don't want to go out at night by yourself, um, you you know, in areas that you're unfamiliar with. I know we went out at night. We walked around at night in Costco Viejo, didn't feel unsafe at all. Um, there are, you know, you just use your common sense, but there's no, you don't feel that tension right. that you typically feel in the United States. Um, it felt much safer. And right. that's, that's our number five reason why Panama. So guys, again, I hope your takeaway is, is that it's a place worth uh, exploring, right. worth checking out. Uh, Sheree and I, obviously we're going to be living there. And so if you know us personally, certainly reach out. Um, if you want to chime in on the chat, and maybe you're in the country already, we are looking to make connections and develop relationships. Um, but we're really excited about experiencing a new life, uh, a chance to live life um, on our terms, um, and, and experience freedom on a regular basis. It'll be the first time in our lives, I think, where we have chosen uh, to live life day to day and not let life live us. Right. Uh, we are moving as far away from the rat race of just um, the same grind over and over and over again, and uh, I'm excited. Now, these are our pre-reasons, and I say pre because we haven't officially moved yet. Yeah. So once we get in country, we are going to come back and give you our top 10 reasons or five reasons. Oh, we're going to be giving you a lot of stuff. Um, that maybe things we don't like, and I will say this, no place is perfect. Correct. And so every place is going to have its issues, and we already know that there are some things there that it's going to be an adjustment. Right. But we're looking forward to a new adventure. We're Exploring. looking forward to um, a new beginning. Yeah, absolutely. And getting to live, like you said, live our best life now while we can. Absolutely. At the end of the day, here's what we know to be true. You cannot get to any place of significance by yourself because we all need some, some help. help. She's so busy dancing. <laughs> She needs help. Y'all be good. Stay tuned. Click the link. Subscribe to the channel and uh, share this out. Uh, check out the links in the description below, um, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get connected. Y'all be see good. You guys soon. We'll see y'all in Panama.